if you're taking the LSAT after June, you're going to want to change up your prep. For those of you who didn't watch my previous videos, you should know the LSAT is fundamentally changing this year, specifically after June. June 2021 is the last time the three-section LSAT flex will ever be administered. Starting in August, it's going to be four sections, so they're not calling it the LSAT flex anymore. They are adding in a new unscored experimental section. This is not the first time the LSAT's ever had an experimental section, but it's the first time since COVID began. And so you've got to change fundamentally. Number one, start adding an experimental section to your practice tests whenever you take a full-length timed exam. You don't want to study with three sections when the LSAT in August and beyond is going to have four sections. It could be any one of logic games, logical reasoning, or reading comprehension, and it could be any position of first, second, third, or fourth. So don't just use logical reasoning for your experimental sections because that's how the published four-section exams happen to appear. They're only that way because the LSAT used to be five sections, four of which were scored, one of them containing that unscored experimental section. That's no longer the case, though. Your new online four-section exam will have three scored sections, one unscored experimental. doesn't have to be logical reasoning. Could be games, could be reading comp. So regardless, make sure you insert that unscored experimental section of any type and in any position. Number two, use LSAC's Law Hub subscription to practice with the same style, the same look and feel you're going to have on test day itself. This is not changing. It's the same look and feel as it was for the LSAT Flex and the same look and feel as it was for the digital LSAT on a tablet. So Law Hub is the best way to prep. Nothing else is even allowed to look identical to what you'll see on test day. So use LSAC's Law Hub. And no, they are not paying me to say this, but maybe they should. Anyway, number three, insert that break after section two. With the new online four-section LSAT, there will be a break between sections two and three, approximately 10 minutes, I'm guessing. And I've heard it's optional as well. I recommend taking it though. Take it, stretch your legs, walk around a little bit, go to the bathroom, keep your energy level up. Any questions, reach out. I've got more info on the recent changes below. And those of you who have been watching my recent videos live, you're the first to know, you're in the know. For those of you who are watching this later, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified of new things as I release them. I've got a lot more coming your way with the recent changes and how best to adjust your prep for those of you taking the LSAT after June this year. Starting August and beyond, it's going to be fundamentally different. You've got to change things up. Anyway, any questions, reach out. More info below. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.